the power that lights the night It's the power that runs machines It's the lightning flashing bright It's the current of our dreams Electricity is moving electrons Electricity is moving electrons Electricity is moving electrons This circuit here shows a basic potential divider. I've got a source of potential difference here, a battery that's producing a potential difference V, and I've got two resistors, R1 and R2, and the potential difference provided by the source is split between the two resistors, V1 there, V2 there, where we know from Kirchhoff's rules that V must equal V1 plus V2. Okay. Now, the current flowing in this circuit, let's call it I, I can work that out because I know that I equals V over R. And because these two resistors are in series, it's easy to work out the total resistance. It's just going to be R1 plus R2. So I will be equal to V over R1 plus R2. Now that I know the current flowing in the circuit, I can work out what V1 is and what V2 is using V is equal to I times R. So V1 will be equal to I, which is this expression here, which is V over R1 plus R2 times the resistance, which is R1. Similarly, this voltage here, V2, V2 will be equal to I, well it's a series circuit so the current is the same everywhere, so the current is still this, V over R1 plus R2 times, this time the resistance is R2. So if you want to learn a formula to solve potential divider problems, these are the formulas that you need to use. Alternatively, you can simply use V equals IR, work out the current, and then use what you know about current, voltage and resistance to calculate the voltage from first. I'm going to do a past paper question about potential dividers. The question is, the diagram below shows a potential divider consisting of a resistor in series with a light dependent resistor. So there they are. The voltmeter connected in parallel with the light dependent resistor has an infinite resistance. The battery has an EMF of 16 volts with a negligible internal resistance. So it's telling me that the voltmeter has an infinite resistance so I don't need to worry about resistors in parallel here I just need to worry about that resistor being in series with that one. And it's also telling me that um, the battery has no internal resistance, so I don't have to worry about an extra resistor here. Again, I only need to worry about those two. So, the question. Calculate the reading on the voltmeter when the light-dependent resistor has a resistance of 1,200 ohms. So I'm going to tackle this in two ways. The first way, I'm going to use the potential divider formula. Okay. So for the potential divider formula, if I call that V1 there, and this can be Vs for the source there, and we'll call this one R1 and that one R2, then my potential divider formula would be written as V1 equals... Vs 
divided by R1 plus R2 multiplied by R1. Okay, so let's solve this then. So, can write the formula out again. V1 equals Vs over R1 plus R2 multiplied by R1. So I can substitute in the values to get Vs is 16 volts. So that's 16 multiplied by R1 which is 1200 ohms divided by R1 plus R2 so that's 1200 plus 800 okay so the voltage on the voltmeter V1 equals 16 multiplied by 1200 divided by 2000 Okay, this is where you'd probably get your calculator out. And I can just divide top and bottom by 100. Um, 4 goes into 16 4 times, 4 goes into 25 times. 4 twelves are 48 divided by 5. Well, 48 divided by 10 is 4.8, so that's 9.6 volts. Okay, so that's the first way, just remembering the uh, potential divider formula. The other way I can do this is say, well, I want to know the voltage across that resistor there, and I know that V equals I times R. So that V1 will equal I times R1. The only thing I don't know in that is what I is in this silicate. So, if I've got a current I flowing, then I know that I equals V over R. So I can say that I equals V, which is Vs, which is 16, divided by the total resistance, which is 1200 plus 800, because they're in series, which is 2000. Amps. So I can now put that back in here to get V1 equals, well, I is this, 16 divided by 2000 multiplied by R1, well, R1 is 1200, and that is the same as the sum I arrived at there, so I know that that equals 9.6 volts. Okay, so you now need to decide which method is going to be most convenient for you. Do you want to just stick with I equals V over R and the versions of that, calculate the current and use it in here, or do you want to use the potential divider formula and remember that and just put the details from the circuit into that. One last thing to do before you can say you've finished the question is always to check to see if the answer you've arrived at is reasonable. Okay, I know that Vs, 16 volts, is going to be split between these two here. And the bigger the resistor is, the bigger the share of that 16 volts will be across it. So the two resistors here are 800 and 1200. So since this resistor is bigger than this, more than half of the 16 volts should be across this one. So if half of 16 is 8, I'm looking for a value that's bigger than 8, but less than 16. Obviously it can't be bigger than 16. So I've got 9.6, which is bigger than half, and it's also less than that. So I can say, yeah, that seems like a reasonable answer. I'm happy with that and I can move on.